From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. I craved the strength and certainty of steel, for she is immortal. Hello, and welcome back to another episode. So, last episode, we murdered a lot of things. Did two missions, if I remember correctly, perfectly. Uh, we already have another mission lined up. Uh, alright, yeah, we had this because of our last mission was a liberation mission. Ooh, maybe, hold on, who do we have available before I commit to that? Um, no, it's not armory. Wait, it is under armory. Uh, squad management. Could just send Grizzly out again. I mean, they did well on the previous mission. No real reason why they can't handle this. I trust them. Plus, like, let's be honest, these, uh, these missions, these, uh, radio tower ones aren't particularly difficult. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're not walks in the park, but they're not, like, you know. I feel confident that most of our squads can handle this situation. However, oh, never mind, I was to say, the game, on the other hand, the game may not be able to handle this, but we ball. Alright, so who are we missing currently? We're missing our Reaper. I very much would like our Reaper. I'm trying to think. Probably our Flamethrower character. I, I think Hellfire might want to sit this one out. And my thought process for that is that the fights here are usually kind of on open catwalks. Which are not exactly fantastic for a Flamethrower. Now, there's like some give and take there. One is really, it can be really good because there's like narrow corridors. So if, uh, if the enemies group up and we can get to it, um, we can just torch them. But that does mean our flamethrower guy has to be able to get to said targets. So I think it's safer just to give someone with a gun a go. Um, and these five, sh I almost said three, these five should be able to handle it. You know what's, I, I've mentioned it before, but I'm going to talk about it again. Uh, you know what game I've been thinking about a lot lately? It's Phoenix Point. Um, I played through it once, and I did it at some point end up buying the DLC for the game. So, I do want to play more of it. So, I don't know, I might take a break from XCOM after this series and do a Phoenix Point playthrough. Or whatever it's called. Fe yeah, I think it's Phoenix Point. Um, I'll touch more on this after we finish this mission. I think these guys should be able to handle it, hopefully. I mean, worst case scenario, we can't and everyone dies. Menace 1 5. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Alright, so... I feel like this is going to be a, your standard mission. We're going to try to push up. Um, I'll say this team doesn't have a sniper, but that is false, as we have one right here. However, he's not going to be playing like a sniper, as I have apparently given him the uh, Temnotic Lance. Follow mode engaged. No. Yeah, okay, never mind. I was like, I'm almost 100% sure I fixed this squad, and I did, because this is not our sniper, this is our scout. This is our sniper, who does have a sniper rifle. Advancing. So he's also going to go up on the roof, and he will be able to use squad sight, which will be nice. Um, then you can kind of push up to here. Okay, we did spot something. Hostile pilot detected. Right. Shotgun on target. That's probably our first two pods. Oh, but yeah, like I was saying though, yeah, I've been thinking a lot about Phoenix Point lately. Um, and my problem was when I played through that by myself um, forever and a half ago, there were situations 
that came up semi-frequently with that game that were just very frustrating to play through. Um, and part of me wonders how good of a or how good of content that game would make because I feel like XCOM can pull a lot of nonsense. Speaking of, um, but that game. That game loves to just do some stuff that really makes you mad. Um, also, their whole pod really is just running away, huh? Unfortunate. I expected. I say it's XCOM. I just expect everyone to miss everything. Um, we can get close enough. I would love to lob some grenades in here. I think we can probably get close enough. You know, uh, I'd say we could launch an incendiary, but we can't quite do that. Oh, uh, we can't. We're not getting all three or all four of them. We could instead launch a gas grenade, which would hit all four of them. Yeah, I should hit all four of them, but I'd rather go for the damage here. Decent damage. Um, how do we want to go about this situation? They all, not only did they all run off, they all ran off and hid. So we can't hit anything from here, which is actually very annoying. Um, I would love to. Okay, we'll, we'll just come up here, I guess. See, so yeah, I was gonna throw down a claymore, but if we do, we're not gonna be able to actually use said claymore. I'm also, apparently, you just don't have a good throwing arm. Uh, Alright, so you'll be able to shoot something here in a moment. Um, it is a little tragic. Actually, we could use relocation to get up to high ground. Let's do that. This should reveal us. So instead of shooting twice, we're just going to pop relocation, which will give us an action back, which then will allow us to get up here and shoot one of those guys. And we don't need squad sight here because we can just see them with our eyeballs, our special eyes. Um, we don't have chain zap, unfortunate. So first off, who is... Oh, you have a grenade launcher too. Okay, let's just drop another grenade on those guys. And this one should be able to hit all four of them. Yeah, because I say you're quite a bit closer. No kills yet. Oh, never mind. Muton's dead. Um, let's have you go up to here. You don't have a close combat specialist. does complicate this. So I was about to shotgun this and then move over here. Um, I think one of these guys is actually going to live now that I'm looking at it. I don't know if we have the ability to kill everything this turn, which is going to be really tragic. We could come over to here. Um... Not quite enough to get a kill here. So, we'll fire off a quick zap. Whoever you have the best chance of hitting. Perfect. Alright, we don't have to kill all of them. Uh, you know, just... Mm, yeah, just take a shot. Um, I say the reason we quick zapped... Oh wow, okay, we got the kill anyway. The reason I quick zapped is in case... The quick zap missed, I would have two chances to essentially kill something. Because the zap effectively killed it. Um, now, technically, I should have had someone else target that. But, um, or I should have had him target somebody else. But, 
I just wanted to see if you had hit anything. Nice. I had him target the weaker of the two because uh, this weapon hits like a semi truck. Um. Woo! Big damage. Love to see it. And then you shouldn't have any issues dealing with this. <laughs> is is processing what just happened? Is like, wait, hold on. Did you just shoot me? And then died. All right. Same deal as always. I'm just gonna kind of chill back here until Mok shows up. Hopefully, we'll grab this to the wall. We are. It's like. It's like a 50-50 on whether or not we will or won't grab something through a wall, so it's always kind of a gamble. Uh, I guess I would like to reload, but I would rather... Okay. I'd rather Overwatch. Okay, so we are going to scout up ahead just to get an idea of what we're looking at. We know there's five enemies here. Plot, wait. Four enemies. Yeah, four enemies here, plus this one over here. So there is a total of five. Um, so this is a good chunk of the enemies remaining. I almost said all, but turns out nine minus five does not equal nine. Or zero, depending. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, no, brain, brain no worky. Um, so normally I would just leave it right here, but I'm actually going to back up. Because I don't know where Mox is going to land. And if they land up here and scout us, I don't want to activate a whole nother pod in the process. I'm on it. And yeah, that's just everyone overwatch. We'll reload later. Okay, so they aren't going to land over there, which is exactly where I don't want them. Seems like a good time for a poison grenade. Engaging enemy pilot. Hopefully they move forward Orders enough that... Moving out. Ooh. <laughs> Does complicate our situation. Okay, we'll move you to here. This shouldn't reveal you. Ooh, okay. As I say, I'm actually not confident on that. We could chuck a claymore down here. Um, and then one of our boom boys should be able to get a grenade in here. All right, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's um, let's chuck a claymore on. I would love to move it to like back here a little bit, but that's not gonna happen. So these three will suffice. Then you, my friend, zoom up to here. Shouldn't get revealed. But you should be able to launch a grenade right in here. And this should theoretically deal with mocks. Because this should be the grenade, the claymore, and the car explosion. They survived. <laughs> oh, I'm not happy about that at all. Wow, that is actually kind of impressive. Alright, well, that's why we have two boom boys. Uh, yeah, we'll just move up to here. And you have a poison grenade, so you can actually take out everything over here, probably. Uh, hold on. Yeah, okay, yeah, we just want to hit them like this. Perfect. I, oh, wait, I'd say I didn't expect to kill all of them with um, the grenade itself, but we didn't. Uh, but this guy has one health. There's no way he doesn't die in this process. Um, how did you move up to here without getting spotted? All right, well, I don't know, man. You just like, stand here, I guess. Uh, I don't plan on engaging yet, so... Uh, Uh, we could Yeah, we Security could hack this I guess protocol. 
Ooh. I want the intel, but I don't want to accidentally activate this. Wait, unlock chance zero. I forget. Do we have... Hold on. Let's... Do you have the thing that makes you... No, I don't think so. There's there's the ability that makes it so you can't get the negative side effect from hacking, and I don't believe we have that. I'm pretty sure that's like substantially higher up Initiating in the tech tree. Interface. All right, yeah, we could have done the cash, but better safe than sorry. Attempting system infiltration. Um, on your own, just you like inch forward and then like take a pot shot with your pistol. <laughs> so that'd be that'd be kind of uh, cool if we landed that. All right, yeah, you died of poison. These guys might walk into our poison, that'd be cool. Get some more bang for our buck, not quite. Bird. Yeah, no, apparently it says we're not getting spotted here, but the game is a filthy liar and I know it. So I'm not going to trust the game because there's no way that drone doesn't see me here. And th this would not be the first time I've walked somewhere and got spotted. The game said I wouldn't get spotted. So um, instead... We are we in a position where we could get a funny grenade up here. Maybe if we if we come up here, we might be able to slip a grenade over there without getting spotted. All right, come on. You you won't lean around the corner. You're just gonna eat the. You're just gonna eat the grenade, huh? Oh. I mean, I can hit the the vehicle our objectives in, but that's I was kind of hoping we would I don't know lean around the corner or something. And where's our other guy? Other guy. Boom. Oh, I see you. Okay. Um. Oh, you don't have any more grenades though. Um, okay, what options? Oh, we can't even get Claymores over here, so I don't even know why I'm attempting to. Do you have another poison grenade? No. We also want to shoot a rocket over there. Yeah, I guess we could shoot a grenade here. But I don't know if it's that valuable. Um... I think we're just gonna take a pot shot and uh, see what happens and we'll go from here yeah they really spread out okay well we could rapid target him And then hopefully land the hit. Come on, fantastic! All right, shield bears down. Target destroyed. A good kill. Uh. This I would believe I'm won't reveal way. us. So let's move to here. Um, we'll take a shot at this guy, which should give us relocation. Blast him in his snitties, and then uh. Yep, fantastic. All right, love to see it. Um, how much of this map is left? There's still a decent chunk. Um, what are we revealing? Oh, the the drone. Okay. Uh, let's pop a scanning protocol. I am very scared of that exact thing, actually. 
what is it? What are we scared of over here? Oh, it's a muton? That doesn't sound right. That, sound, that doesn't sound right. I think... Yeah, because there's two enemies here, plus this, so that's four enemies left. So there has to be three more enemies with that muton. There's no way he's gonna pod entirely by himself. Um, all right, can we activate the drones pod real fast without activating the muton? This should do that. I don't want to scoot forward just enough that we get the drones attention. And then we're gonna combat protocol. Actually, you know, we could just steal it. But the only thing I'm worried about is... Actually, if we hack the drone, that might not activate the muton yet. Now, what's tragic is this was a waste of a turn as he cannot lean around corners. Um, like, okay, over here, fine. It's acceptable that you wouldn't be able to get your grenade in here. But, like, over here, man, come on. He won't just, like, like do You won't just, like, lean over. Um, but what that does mean is we're not getting any value from that. We don't know how well the rest of our team can get into position to deal with this. Um, we actually have a chance to flank this guy, and it says it shouldn't activate this other pod. And it didn't. Okay. XCOM didn't lie to me. Not this time. Now, the problem is I'm very skeptical of our accuracy at this range. Actually, that's almost 70%. I'll take it. Come on. We land a graze. I'm not happy about the graze. But I'll take a hit. Um, What do we want to do? I think a haywire protocol might be the move here. Because I don't think we're going to kill these two. Because we have this guy who can't actually make a move this turn because uh, of poor placement. And then we have this guy who... The best thing we would be able to do is kill this drone. Which I'm not too interested in. Well, I mean, if we really want to commit, we could zoom all the way over here and get a kill. But that is 100% going to activate that pod, which I... To really don't want to deal with, especially since isn't that a Muton Centurion now that I think about it? Alright, come on, chip damage. Dang. We can dream. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hack this instead of killing it. Because at least this will hopefully give them a target to shoot that isn't us. I say, watch as we have like a 100% and we still somehow don't get it. So this also should not activate the enemy pod. Is it actually just a muton over there? Okay, so he probably... Okay, that's unfortunate, but that's exactly what we got the drone for. Is a bullet sponge. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Dang. Okay, well, there's the muton. Oh, no, nope, it is definitely more than a muton. Okay, it's now a 6v6, and they have a lot more health than we do. Ooh, okay. Well, on the plus side, you're in a better position to... Actually, how long is the range on your flamethrower? That's looking like what? Three, four, five, six, seven piles? We move to here. No. If we move to here without cover, we could catch one of them on fire, and that's just not worth it. That'll get us killed. Um, what we could do is... We come in for a slash. Perfect. Now, what I want to do... I want to come in here for this guy. But, he has the... Close Combat Specialist. Do you think Void Strike bypasses that? Let's find out. 
Yes. Fantastic. We almost get a kill there. So what I'm thinking is... So we're not going to be able to... Oh my god. That's going to deal like zero damage. Um, we can't reload and shoot this turn. So maybe we could... Move up to here. Follow mode engaged. And get a claymore down here. I don't think we're getting it on anything other than just the muton. So we will hold that thought for just a brief second because we still can shoot something if we so desire. Uh, we could also use spray here, which could be valuable. But again, we'll hold that thought for a second. Um, we could just bring our sniper down to the ground. And I think that's what we're going to do. Affirmative, Commander. So we're going to move you over here. And then have you take a shot at this dude. Let's actually rapid target him before we do this. Just to make... Because you're not going to get a kill on this guy. Uh, he has far too much health. But... Someone else can probably get the kill here. Um, unless we want someone else to do the... Uh, I'd say unless we want to take or have someone else deal the damage, but I think we... No, okay, well, I'm trying to think while I speak and it's not going well. Unless we want to target something else. We could try to focus fire down the muton. But I don't think we have the ability to do that. Not this turn at least. So I think we just take what we can get and kill the Vanguard. So let's move over to here. So our sniper, let's see if we can't hit them with this first. Perfect. The shred should give us a little bit extra damage for our sniper. So he should be able to get a kill here. Fantastic. I'd say as long as we don't graze, we're fine. Um, alright, where is our guy with the grenades? That would be you. Okay. Um. Okay, if we move, we can get a grenade on both of these. And we can sling a claymore down here. I don't think we're going to do much else. Here's what we... Here's I think what we're going to do. We're going to walk over here. We're going to quick zap. And pray to Aran Jesus. Pray that we get a stun off on this guy for a 30% chance. Yeah, I didn't think so. But we could, we could hope. And then we're going to aid protocol ourselves. Because uh, hopefully the stun lancer isn't close enough to do anything meaningful. However, he might... No, actually, the muton is probably blocking that. Alright, so... Yeah, let's just... Um, we'll play more of you. Next turn we can reload and shoot something, but for the time being... Um, Alright, what, what do we need to do? We need to move just a tiny bit forward. And then launch a plasma grenade right onto these two. So this should deal some decent damage to the muton. And it'll hurt the other guy. That... Didn't do quite as much as I was hoping. Okay, Blaze Storm should kill that guy. Fantastic. All right, so we're down to the three of them. Hostile target down. Okay, so he's doing pop personal shield, and he's gonna shoot someone. Oh, he's gonna Overwatch. That's really good. Okay, they missed. Now the Stun Lancer. What is the Stun Lancer gonna do? He needs to miss. He really, really needs to miss. He did not miss. That is really unfortunate. That was the guy I really didn't want him to hit. Because he probably has some of our highest damage output on this team. We also have reinforcements to deal with. 
Um, I don't really think you have much of a choice. Here's, um, okay, 10 to 12 versus 14 to 16. Uh, is he hollow targeted still? No. So, can we... We can't see him. Okay. Is anyone in a position to hollow target the muton? Yes. So we'll hollow target you. And you can still shoot. And we pray. Come on, please hit this. Oh, let's go. Okay, that's huge. Okay, um... And now you can take a shot at him. That Muton is scary. We need him dead. Oh, I didn't expect a crit, but that's so huge. That's so very huge. We really, really, really needed that. Okay. Oh, boy. 12 to 14 versus... You know, I mean... Either way, we're going to be over here. So let's just move to right here and see what our damage options are. I think our sword does more damage. Uh, 12 to 14 versus 12 to 14. Well, I don't know. I'm already on the slash. We'll do that. Perfect. I'll say, I think you have more damage bonuses for uh, melee anyway. Okay. Okay. We are in business i think we can do something here now the problem is this guy is entrenched i mean can i just like yeah here we go um enemy damage is reduced by one when in cover so yeah he's gonna I'm gonna block a lot of things um and we can't flank him he's perfectly out of range of a claymore too What do we want to do here? We could hit him with another grenade. And I think we're probably going to do that. What I think we will do here is... It's not the ideal situation, but it's what we got. We're going to throw a claymore on him. Then you... And say so there's... I don't trust that to land. Um, I want this grenade directly on top of this guy. Yeah, that should be good. So this should deal a lot of damage. Maybe if we're really lucky, it'll get us close enough to kill him with the combat protocol. Ooh, is that enough? No, it's six. We need just a tiny bit more damage. We can find a way to deal two damage. We can't. Oh, that's so annoying. He's going to get an action. Um... Our only hope to kill him this turn would be move over here and take a shot. But that is so very risky because his accuracy isn't stellar. We're going to try it. We're going to hope and pray. 71. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh, this mission was looking horrible at the beginning. But if... Oh, another stun lancer. I hate to see that. I really hate to see that. Hopefully that guy doesn't have too much health. Because the Sun Lancer we can deal with. But the other guy... Okay, 11 health. We can deal with this. This isn't the end of the world. Their placement's not ideal. Especially since the Sun Lancer's way over there. Which is, like, really out of our range. Um, actually, we could probably get in there with a melee. Actually, we can just teleport onto him. Yeah, you're the easily the scariest of the two. Perfect. Ooh, boy. I think I think we turn this mission around. And then you have no ammo. You have no ammo either. Um, this is a bit of a situation. We might just have to shoot him to death with pistols. And so if we can just roll high damage with our sniper, we can finish him off with a pistol no problem. Problem is we actually have to uh, say get him get him hurt so we can uh, finish him off with a pistol. Nice. 
Alright, let's reload finally. Good lord. And then you heal him up. Ooh. That was stressful. I wasn't, I, I wasn't having fun. Alright, um... But yeah, so like back to what I was saying at the very beginning of this episode. Um, yeah, like I said, I've been thinking about Phoenix Point a lot uh, this or lately, and um, come on, go move. There we go. Um, I, on one hand, there felt like there was a lot less RNG involved because it was like, oh, you know, shoot the target, and you kind of just aim at them with your little reticle thing, and it's either either you hit them or you don't, but at the same time, that isn't sure there still is RNG on whether or not you're going to hit your target, because it's, um... High speed advance. There's, like, RNG within that aiming system, and for those of you who have played the game know what I'm talking about. So it's like, it's like a different flavor of RNG. So, I don't know. Um, On your order. I feel like... I feel like the big benefit to that aiming system was oh, that yeah. the... Uh, even if you're not going to hit with all of your Weapon shots, you still are going to deal some damage. Because um, if I remember correctly, there's like two circles. And 50% um, of your shots will go in the center circle. And then 50% of them are going to go in the outer circle. So as long as you put that inner circle like on a target, you should at least get 50% of your damage on it. Um, so, yeah, you should still get some damage. Um, the problem is... Oh, so are we still not close enough? Oh, wait, yeah, we, we can't. We're going to have to go over here, yeah. I was thinking... Uh, prisoner of rescue and that we would have to hack it. Uh, let's call an evac now. This we should have done that last turn, but... Request confirmed. Hold tight. Is everyone reloaded? But yeah, I don't know. Um, sometimes I, I love XCOM, but sometimes this RNG system can uh, really get annoying uh, when you just like miss shots that are like Oh, it's like 90% chance to hit and then you miss. Um, you, you can't really do that as much with Phoenix Point. Because um, like I said, no matter what, you should at least land a hit. Um, at least some of your damage, unless you're using like single shot weapons. And then when you miss those, that just feels awful. Um, nice. And in some respects, I felt like the game was a little bit more forgiving, but at the same time, it was also less forgiving. Like, um... Getting injured isn't the end of the world. It felt like I could heal up pretty quickly before the next mission, so I didn't have to worry about Objective it that much. Confirmed. Um... But at the this same time, there was stuff that was just, like, so unfriendly to the player, it was ridiculous. Um, one great example was, uh, I don't know how other people felt about it, uh, the, I think they're called mind fraggers. They're like these little head crabs that, they were the bane of my existence, I hated, I despised them, because, um, they would just, like, sprint across the entire map and then just take control of your character. Shut up, Brad, I'm talking. Um, but yeah, they just like sprint across the entire map and just instantly take control of your character. Um, and it was so frustrating. It was so frustrating. Um, sirens were kind of annoying too. And when I say kind of, I mean they, they could get... They, they could get really annoying. Also, what on earth? Why are you so difficult to hit? It's because you're the scout, and then that's why. But um, I, cause there, there was a couple enemies I remember being really annoyed with, and I think one of the reasons, one of the reasons why I felt like sirens were so hated, was because they kind of had it all. Like they have big health bar, they have a lot of melee damage, so it's like okay. Um, it's like a frontline brawler. It can just like run in and attack you from the front. Okay, cool, whatever. It's like just kill it from a distance. Two grazes, are you kidding me? 
It's like, okay, kill it from a distance, no problem. It's like, well, if you're at a distance and try to fight it, it can mind control your, like, a lot of your guys. Um, so, it's like, okay, if you can stay at a distance, it'll mind control you. If you go close quarters, it'll just shred you. Um, and it's like, okay, we'll just burst it down. Well, the problem is it has a big health bar, too. Um, so I never found a terrific way of dealing with the sirens. Um, I know if you can cripple their head that, if I remember correctly, that gets rid of a lot of their will, which makes them an easy, or it makes it a lot harder for them to use their psionic ability or whatever. Um, but also we really are going to have to get more reinforcements, huh? But yeah, even then, it was still it. easier said than done. Uh, especially since they would like, they could like run forward, mind control, and then run away, and like hide behind a wall. So yeah, I felt like I felt like there's some of the enemies in this game that I just did not understand how you're supposed to counter effectively. Um. I say yo, I, I don't think you guys have loaded in the enemy yet. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think there's something called Chirons. I'm trying to remember which ones those were. Because so I don't think those are the enemies I... Th I think those were the artillery guys. And they were kind of annoying too. But like, they weren't the worst thing. We missed. We, we missed at point blank range. Come on guys. You shot a corpse. You shot it. You didn't hit a corpse. You just missed a corpse. That's fine. Um, wait, where's the other guy? Oh, he's over there. Uh, none of you have close combat specialists. Fantastic. So, let's have you. Um, let's have you hit this guy. He's going to be slightly harder to hit. Good. And now we finish off Target neutralized. this guy, just because I don't like the way he's looking at me. Well, let's deal some damage to him first, actually. Fourteen percent. Truly a clown world. Alright, whatever, just going for the slash. I don't care. If you hit, you should kill. But you didn't hit. Because. Just because. Full stop. That's why. Just because. Oh. Alright, you know what? This is what we're gonna do for you, buddy. AoE abilities sure are. Uh, sure are fun. He's not on fire, though, is he? I don't think it said burning. Is he burning? He is burning. Okay. So yeah, you're you're down and out. Um, but yeah, another thing I... One thing I really liked about that game was the ability to... Like, you could shoot a character in the arm and disable their ability to shoot. Um, however, vice versa was really fr uh, frustrating when that happened to you. When, like, an enemy shot you in the arm from, like, across the map and crippled you, and then you couldn't shoot. That, that could get really annoying. Um, but, yeah, for the most part, I don't know. I really wanted to love Phoenix Point, but there was a lot of things I didn't love. But there was so many things I did love. Like I said, I, the, um, the aiming system was so cool. Um, that is something I absolutely adore about that game, is the aiming system. The problem is, it doesn't feel very polished, and so there's situations where you went to go take a shot at something, um, and, like, for those that don't understand, I don't know, maybe I'll put something up on screen to demonstrate, uh, but, like, instead of just pointing and clicking, or, like, uh, saying, oh, shoot this guy, and then it's a roll whether or not you hit him, how the game would handle it was, um... Like you would actually aim where you're, you wanted your character to shoot, and they would fire off several shots at that target. Um, 
and it was really, really fun. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that system, but the problem was it would punish you for being in cover sometimes because, like, you're in cover, you take a pot shot at something, but you actually don't take that pot shot because you're in cover, your character doesn't lean around the cover, and you're just kind of not doing anything. You're just staring at a wall, and it's like, it, it could be frustrating. Also, why my Google Assistant is uh, lighting up like it's trying to hear me say something. Okay, never mind. It just turned off. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. There's things I love about that game. But there's things about that game I, I despise, and they drove me nuts. This is Firebrand. Package is secure. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Which is uh, truly tragic because I bought the DLC and apparently it has a lot of bad reviews. So I haven't played it, never touched it, and I'm very interested, interested to see why it has so many bad reviews. But at the same time, I'm dreading it because it's like, you know, if I'm halfway through a campaign, I really don't want to find out like, hey, this is awful. <laughs> so I don't know. I'll, I'll find out, I'm sure. Let's hope they all go that smooth, Commander. Great work. That it was that did not go smooth. Don't lie to me, Shed. Um, yeah, I'm, I'd be very interested to hear what other people thought about that game. Uh, so like I said, I don't know. Maybe I'm in the minority, maybe I'm in the majority. But I was very torn on Phoenix Point. So I'm very interested to know what everyone else thought. Um, sure, more claymores could be handy. Conceal could be handy too. I, I, but I'd much rather this, actually. Um, death from above, easy peasy. Light em up doesn't work with our sniper rifles. So... Probably aim, I would imagine. Yeah, probably aim. If you have nothing better to do, might as well get that aim bonus. Uh, gr bigger grenades, pretty good. Attacks with a gauntlet set. Attacks with your gauntlet and fire set deal bonus damage. Uh, flamethrowers can now panic. Don't care about that. Rouse could be fun. Volatile mix is definitely going to happen. Fire and steel, definitely. You know, honestly, panicking an enemy could be very valuable. We'll take it. I mean, if they're already on fire, I don't know if it matters. But wait, I think it said attack. I don't remember. It, it could be handy. Chain shot, very good. Volatile mix, also very good. Problem is, he only has a single grenade. Um, all right, let's grab this. Wait. Yeah, hold on. Did I not put the grenade in the grenade slot? Is that the issue here? Okay, well, I want Chain Shot, I want Volatile Mix, and I'm going to get Quartermaster anyway. And I'm very tempted. I do want these two Overwatch abilities. Whew, okay, so that was an adventure and a half. Um, a not enjoyable adventure, but an adventure nonetheless. Um... Yeah, hold on, let's take a quick gander at your loadout. No, your grenade's in your grenade slot. Did I shoot twice? Huh, I guess we did use a grenade twice. I don't remember doing that. Whatever, no big deal. We could drop us hollow targeter in favor of another grenade, but for the time being, I would rather him have better aim. Uh, speaking of, let's... I think we put a little bit into mobility, some into health, and then the rest into aim. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Um. Oh, actually, one more thing. Let's go to engineering. What can I do for you, Commander? Build items, and let's give our sniper a plasma lance because this laser sniper is just simply not cutting it anymore. These enemies are getting tankier and getting a lot harder to kill. You're the wrong sniper. 
I would also like to start improving our armor because um, it's getting harder to kill every enemy we see before they get an action and some of these some of these enemies are pretty scary actually like the muton I'm pretty sure just one tap to if he gets a uh, turn um, at least where we are now so yeah it's probably worth uh, it's probably worth upgrading their armor in the near future the problem is that's just another expense and we just have we have a lot of things because we could be upgrading uh we could do gene mods which i do want to start doing especially since some of the gene mods we're unlocking are pretty useful we could be um upgrading their um cybernetics we could up be upgrading their gear which frankly i think gear is the most important thing to upgrade um and then yeah armor which is you, you could argue part of their gear but um yeah there's just there's a lot of things we need to sink our supplies into and um armor was one of those things where i can put off that getting that when we were able to kill everything before they get an action but we're starting to get to a point where that's no longer feasible and when i say starting to i mean we've kind of been in that position for a little while now and there's supply raid well, looks like you guys are going back out. The South African sector. It's a good thing no one ended up in the hospital, so otherwise we would not have a full squad here. Yeah, this is victory, right? Oh boy. All right. Well, this energy katana or the vortex katana is coming in great use. We could probably trade out your laser rifle for a plasma one. What could I do differently here? So you have a bean cannon. I think your kit's as good as it's going to get. I want to give you a, a plasma shotgun, but we don't have that researched yet. God, 20, yeah, we're definitely going to boost. Even if the, we're facing 25, 27 enemies, that's going to be a rough time. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll build two laser rifles. Or plasma rifles. Um, yeah, here we go. Um, that's one thing why I've been kind of enjoying their billions is, um, like circling back to what I was talking about with the other game, is because, uh, their billions doesn't really have RNG. The, the extent of their RNG is where the enemy is coming from. And as long as you plan accordingly, you can kind of deal with that. So I kind of want to get into some games that are a little less RNG based for a little while because, uh, oh boy. Like I said, I love, I love this game, but it is killing me. <laughs> it is killing me slowly but surely. Is this... what? You have a Mark II gauntlet already. Yeah, I don't really think there's anything else. I mean, we could give you a better gauntlet, but there's really no reason to. I think this is as good of a gear as you guys are going to get. We could build some armor. No harm in that. The problem is, like I said, it's so expensive to just kit every soldier we have out with something and we'll buy a reinforced frame that, that's it trust me uh i think i think that is our only option yeah because i think we're only at plated so yeah let's buy some predator armor uh we'll just buy enough for the whole squad i guess no reason not to you know we could give him a spider suit uh you don't have you're our sniper. You don't have rib jacks, right? Nor do you have... Yeah, you don't have the augmented arm, so... This... Having a spider suit could be beneficial. The spider suit will improve our soldiers' chances of dodging an attack, while also providing increased agility and grappling... Capability. Have we not used this yet? I'm like 90% sure I put that on somebody. Alright, also before I equip the plated armor, let me make sure it's not going to change my customizations. I don't think it did. It may have, I don't, you know, we're going to test it. We'll just, uh, okay, no, it didn't do anything. Alright, yeah, we're fine. So this isn't going to do a tremendous amount for us. But it is progress. 
Use more health, a little bit of extra armor. Get something. And frankly, this squad is one of our lower ranking squads. They kind of need it more than anyone else does, so. Because some of our other guys have like all of their abilities unlocked already, so they can land these hits uh, and kill things really fast. But uh, these guys are still in the process of getting there. Uh, I don't really want to burn an elite scope on you. I do want to give you a scope. I think we'll give you one of these ones. Just because I want to boost your aim, but like, I don't want to spend that much resources on you, seeing as how you are going to be using your grenade launcher or your rockets most of the time anyway. Uh, same deal with you. You're our support. More often than not, you won't be doing a ton of shooting. Actually, did I? Yeah, you have the advanced arc thrower. But we will give you another scope. And we're also going to change the color of your weapon. It's one that's slightly less brown. Problem is, I don't know why, but these weapons are all like decidedly brown. Or tan beige. It's a color. It's not quite the silver I'm looking for, but whatever. That's good enough. I'm not going to spend a tremendous amount of time on that. I, I think that's good enough. You have plasma, you have the best reaper weapon, you guys have plasma, and you have the Mark II, and then the better version of that, Mark II of that, better grenade launcher. I don't think we've ever unlocked the... I don't know if... I don't think you go past the uh, advanced grenade launcher. I think this is just it in terms of that. So, yeah, let's send him out. The only thing I could really upgrade is their uh, pistols, which I'm not going to spend the money to do so. Or we could upgrade the shotgun, which we can't, because we don't have it researched yet. Sky Ranger Diplomatis, ready to deploy. Another one. That is. Hold on, do we have anybody left? No. Alright, hold on. Is there someone who's ready right now? Because if we can just do a mission right this second, but I really do want to do this supply raid. I don't want to leave this. Alright, you guys are the closest. Blackguard. We have 15 enemies plus mocks. I think you guys could probably handle it. Especially, we could boost. How much intel do we have? Oh my god, we have plenty. We have all the intel in the world. Um, let me make sure I'm actually selecting Blackguard too. Yeah, let's boost. Like I said, we have all the money in the world. We're doing it. Menace one five. This is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Right. Expect hostile resistance. Nine enemies. Well, uh, let's say we already see one of them. So, I feel like we should be able to handle this. It's okay to come out. Okay, two Archons. That is not something we like to see. Good lord, you have... You have a tremendous amount of mobility. Uh, I'm tempted to aggro the pods now. We can probably deal with them as long as they move into an advantageous position. Um, yeah, we ball. I feel your fear, Come on. Don't miss. Perfect. And they're panicked. Double perfect. Alright, if they come outside... Okay, yeah, we got this. We can deal with them easy. Uh, especially since you can... In fact, you can probably just clean this up right now. Unless... Perfect. Even you are really human in the end. Oh... I don't know 
about that one. They are, uh, <laughs> not quite humanoid. Alright, let's, um, not use you to kill that guy, because that will reveal you, and I'd rather not do that. Follow mode. Instead, you can come in here and get the kill. Perfect. Also, I forgot your gun is teal, but I like that. Fun fact, um, I have a lot of favorite colors, but um, red is one of them. Obviously, seeing as how my profile is a red mushroom, and that is also one of the usernames I use for like Steam and stuff is red mushroom. Um, and probably on Discord? I don't remember. Um, but... I also really like teal. Um, I like white and black quite a lot. I think they're fantastic colors to pair up with each other. And then oh, we can give you a better sword at some point. I just realized. Let's see what's what's another color I like? Red, teal, black, white. Wow, I am very impressed we didn't get revealed there. Um, do we just want to combat protocol them? <laughs> we say we could we could electric bullet them. No, we don't we don't need to do that. We can combat protocol. Probably should move forward, but whatever. But yeah, uh, when I played StarCraft Two, I would use the teal color scheme for my army very frequently. Uh, I, I was quite partial to that. Um, another fun inside joke that my friends and I had was, um, we would have, sometimes we would have, like, an AI teammate, and, um, we would make them a, a purple Terran, and we would just call them Grape Flavored Terran. Perfect. Another kill. All dogs have their day. Um, who? I don't think you're max rank, and neither are you. Uh, you know, you're right here. You can get the kill. Let's do it. Perfect. Wait, hold on. Is that max rank? No. This is the symbol for max rank, I think. This is like. Man, my military ranking is not good. I can't remember what's what, which is awkward seeing as how I come from a military family. Alright, there's the final... Well, actually, no, that's not... Wait. Oh, the chrysalid. That's annoying. Ooh, that's actually doubly annoying. Because that pod just activated. <clears throat> okay. Well. Oh, that's not a good time for this to happen. Because um, reinforcements are about to show up. But I think we can make something happen here. Warning. Threat level high. Pretty okay damage. I like that sound though. Target That's a fun sound. Then you. I would much rather kill this guy. How many actions do you have? Not enough. You do avoid him up. Alright, we're gonna try to take you out. We missed. Alright, we ball. Come on. Okay, well, at least we tried. Okay, in what order does this happen? Because, um... If reinforcements show up first, and then the shield bearer gets the shield bearer... Actually, wait, no. Hold on. 
We could. We can we can still clean this up. Hold on. Move on over of to course. here. Now there's a very real chance we're gonna. Oh wait, no. I say activate another pod, but we won't because these are the only two people remaining. Perfect. And now, now we won't. We'll use uh, our normal slash so we don't. Uh, in case we do need the teleport. You prank idiot, I'm immune to damage. Alright. And you know it's a game I've been like half contemplating doing a video on? Um, and this would not be on this main channel. This would definitely be a, like a different channel kind of deal. Um, but I kind of want to do a challenge run in Minecraft. But, like, the problem is everyone ever that's ever existed has made a Minecraft video. Yes, including you. Person watching this video, you've made a Minecraft video. Um, I know it. I've seen the video. No, um, it, it's a very overinflated market, so it's not exactly unique. But, um, I kind of want to do, like, a, a permadeath run. Uh, or hardcore de uh, I kind of want to do a hardcore run on the hardest difficulty um, for the mod pack sev tech ages because I really 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 like that mod pack but um, yeah no like I said that would definitely be a different channel kind of deal because uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not putting Minecraft videos on this channel. Not unless, not unless I become super popular on the other channel for my Minecraft videos. In which case, you know, screw it, man. Uh, we ball. Also, let's just um, move over here. Accepted. I think we're gonna go for an AOE attack here. Um, we just apparently can't hit those guys, so I guess we're gonna use our shredder gun. We'll do I this. Destroy you. We didn't destroy cover, Was which is tragic. Necessary. Um. Okay, you're very far away, and I don't think you're gonna get close enough to be able to do anything. So we'll do something else first. Can we weaken them? We don't have grenades. We can just go in for a kill though, that's something. And I think that's what we shall do. Getting weaker by the moment. Well. Okay, let's get a kill here. Activate death from above. You have eliminated our target. Oh, but yeah, um, so I've mentioned having other channels a few times on this, uh, channel series. What are you doing? I've mentioned it a couple times wanting to make a second channel. Um, and I'm thinking about making a video to upload here that is kind of just a, like an update. A channel update with some of my ideas and goals I would like to do. So I, I've, I've been meaning to make it for a little while now, and I honestly should have just done it over spring break. But um, yeah, I've been thinking about that. So I might try to get that released sooner rather than later. Um, because I have a couple ideas for this channel and I would love to hear what other people think about it. Because, um, it's like one of those things where it's like, you know, if, uh, if I, if I like propose an idea and everyone's like, yeah, no, that's a horrible idea. Don't do that. Um, I'm not going to bother doing it. Cause it's like, eh, well, there's like zero interest. 
Um, I'm not going to waste my time and energy doing it. But if everyone's like, oh, that sounds like a great idea, I love it, then, um, you know, it's, it, it could be worth doing. And it'll kind of give me some perspective on where to take the channel. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, like I said, hopefully I can get it sooner rather than later. And I've already kind of talked about some of the ideas, like um, a second channel for... So we just cannot hack the thing from here, whatever. A uh, second channel for uploading unedited footage and also like Twitch streams. Um, that way, um, cause I, I, I do want to get back into streaming. Uh, I used to do it a lot but long before I made this channel. Brad, everyone's dead. <laughs> Yeah, I actually streamed forever and a half ago before I um, made this channel. Um, and that was fun. It was neat to do. But I just kind of stopped for no particular reason. So getting back into streaming would be nice. Yes. Um, and I feel like streaming is a lot easier content to make. It's low, lower stress because you just kind of like... I don't need to edit the video. I just kind of like, I hop on, record for a little while, and talk with uh, viewers. Oh, I was like, why can't we evac? Because evac's not here. Um, and yeah, just kind of big chill. So, um, and then being able to upload that to the second channel, like the archive it's channel fine, afterwards, I think would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'll expect to see a short channel update video in the near future. In a perfect world, I'll try to do it this weekend. But that... We'll see about that. I, I work every single day starting tomorrow. Well, starting... Once this video goes up, I'm already at work. So, um... Yeah. Like I said, we'll, we'll see about it. But I'll try to get it up either this week or next week. Right, that went pretty well, and um, yeah, I was right. This is the max rank symbol, and this is like I think the second to. This is like right below that. Yeah, there we go. So definitely lethal or uh, kill them all. I mean, uh, lethal two additional points of base damage, and an additional crit. It's probably better than this. So let's go with that. We'll grab this too. Wait, how oh, was that just cheap? Oh, I didn't. I thought that was gonna be another forty-five or whatever, but no, that we sh we could just afford that normally. All right, fantastic. Okay, for you, this is Rose, right? Yeah, Rose, probably not kill them all. Does uh, that doesn't quite work as well? What if instead? What if we just grab? Honestly, none of these max rank ones are super incredible because stealth tactics is what we already have built in with the regular sniper elite i will grab because uh being able to use or not have squad site penalties is pretty cool but i think i'm gonna then backtrack to serial <sighs> you know we have the most of the points we'll get we'll get kill them all on the off chance we are in a position where that's useful and for you we still can't use no lance because um, things are borked. But we can use Void Rift. And Void Rift's really good. We'll get Fuse. Because it's also pretty good. And I don't think you can use Reaper. But what we could do is... We'll test it. See if... See if it works. The lightsaber. Who's using a lightsaber? It says compatible with uh, melee weapon, combat knife, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't think I have the lightsaber, but um, it shows the shard gauntlets. So theoretically, this should work. We cast Reaper, go ahead and kill with the gauntlets. If that works, that'll be fantastic. If it doesn't, we'll give you a melee weapon. Like with melee weapon part two, electric boogaloo. Um, I think... We'll probably end the episode here. Is there anything? Oh, actually, before I do that, 
Let's go do this. Setting course for the Indian regional But zone. yeah, um on the topic of things for this channel, so this episode's going out Friday. Um and then I will be releasing a They Are Billions episode Saturday. Um I was gonna do it last weekend, but I already released my the first episode, I think, on Monday, so I was like, oh, I'll I'll get into the routine next week. There's really nothing else I can really... I guess I could buy you guys armor. Other than that, I think we're pretty good. So yeah, we'll give you guys some armor real fast. Um, so yeah, we just need three more because you already have Rage Suit. So here's where we're going to start chewing through our alloys really fast. But whatever. It's, pro it's worth it. But yeah, like I was saying, um, so uh, they are billions of videos. In my head, this is what we're, uh, I would like to do. Um, this video comes out Friday. There are billions. Video comes out Saturday. And depending on if I have the time or not, the channel update video will come out Sunday. But like I said, I do a lot of work this weekend, and I also have school starting back up because spring break's over. So. Uh, I have to get ready for that, or the, for class starting up again. Um, so I don't know. It, you, there'll be, there'll definitely be this episode, and there'll definitely be the They Are Billions episode. Um, if the if you don't see it a bit, if you don't see a video Sunday, um, expect something the following week. Maybe like Tuesday, Thursday, or probably just Sunday. We'll see. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.